in this video, we are going to discuss common monomial factor. The formula will be ax plus ay is equal to a quantity x plus y. So this formula is not only applicable for binomial, it, it, it will be also applicable for trinomial polyno and polynomials as long as we are going to get their common monomial factor. Let us try to answer the following. Letter A. 24x squared minus 18x cubed. So, what are we going to do? First is we are going to look at their constant. So, 24 and 18. What will be the greatest common factor of um, 24 and 18? So, we can determine the uh, greatest common factor through prime factorization. Let us try. So, for 24, we have um, 6 times 4, then 2 times 3, 2 times 2. For 18, we have 6 times 3, then 2 times 3. So the prime factors of 24 are 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. For 18, we have 2 times 3 times 3. Then let us get the greatest common factor. So we have um, 2, 2, 3, 3. So the greatest common factor of 24 and 18 is uh, 6. So apply muna natin yung formula, expand muna natin yung given para makita kung paano siya gagawin. No? So 24, we can rewrite it as 6 times 4. So we have um, 24, that is 6 times 4. Then for x squared, we have how many x? That is 2. x times x. Okay? So minus, for 18, we can rewrite it as 6 times 3. Then for x cubed, how many x do we have? We have um, 3. So x times x times x. So in-expand ko lang muna siya para makita nyo kung paano ginagamit yung formula. Then let us get the common monomial factor. Ano ba yung mga magkakapareho sa kanila? So we have, um, ano yung magkakapareho sa kanila? Um, 6, let us cross out, 6 and 6. Then we have, how many x ang magkakapareho sa kanila? Dalawa, 2 na x. So that is x squared. Okay? So ano yung matitira? So matitira doon, yun yung nasa loob. Ito yung parenthesis na dito sa formula natin. So ang natira dito is 4 minus, that is 3x. So ito na ang ating common uh, monomial factor. So ang pinaka-common monomial factor natin dyan is yung 6x squared. Okay? So, ganyan lang yan. In-expand ko para makita nyo kung paano ina-apply yung formula. Pero for the variables, ang technique lang dyan is kukunin natin yung pinakamababang exponent. So, that is 2. So, yun. X squared. Ganun lang ang technique natin sa variables. Let's move on. Letter B. So, we have 60 A B raised to 5 minus 105 A squared B raised to 4. So, first step is we are going to get the... Um, prime factors of 60 and 105. So, 60. Let us try. That is uh, 6 times 10. Then, 2 times 3. 2 times 5. For 105, we have uh, by 5. So, 5, uh, 21. Then, we have uh, 3 times uh, 7. So, the uh, prime factors of 60 are 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. Then, we have 105. 3 times 5 times 7. So, napaka-useful uh, talaga ng prime factorizations, lalo na kapag malalaking numbers. So, let us determine. Ano yung common nila? Greatest common factors. So, that is uh, 3, 3, 5, 5. So, the greatest common factor of um, 60 is and 105 is 15. So, sulat na natin. 
So, 15. Then, for the variables, kunin lang natin yung pinakamababang exponent sa kanila. Dapat pareho silang meron nun, ha? So, we have uh, a and a, a squared. So, pinakamababang exponent is a. For b, b raised to 5 and b raised to 4, ang pinakamababang exponent is 4. So, this will be our common monomial factor. So, anong matitira sa loob? So, for 60, so, ito. So, for 60, ang natira is 4. Then, a, a. So, 1, parehas 1 ang exponent yan. 1 minus 1, 0. So, walang matitira. Then, for b, 5 minus 4, ang matitira is 1. So, b lang. Minus, for 105, so, yan, makita natin, ang natira doon is yung 7. So, minus 7. Then, for A, 2 minus 1, that is 1. So, that is A. Then, B, uh, B raised to 4. So, 4 minus 4. So, 0. Walang matitira. So, eto na yon. This will be our final answer. So, 15A, B raised to 4, quantity 4B minus 7A. Okay? So, next, letter C. Ayan, this is an example of trinomial. So, ganun lang ulit. Kunin muna natin yung prime factors ng mga constant. So, we have 28, 42, and 56. So, for 28, we have 7 times 4, then 2 times 2. So, for 42, that is um, 7 times 6, then 2 times 3. For 56, that is um, 7 times 8. 7 times 8. Then this is uh, 2 times 4. Then 2 times 2. So the prime factors of 28 are 2 times 2 times 7. Then for 42, we have 2 times 3 times 7. Then for 56, we have 2 times 2 times 2 times 7. Let us now get their uh, greatest common factor. Dapat lahat sila meron nun ha, yung magkakapareho. So 2, 2, 2, then 7, 7, 7. So the greatest common factor will be 2 times 7, that is 14. So 14. Then for the variable, katulad ng sinasabi ko kanina, uh, dapat lahat sila meron ng letters, uh, letter na yon. then pinakamababang exponent ang kukunin natin. So a squared, a cubed, a. So the lowest will be a. How about for b? b raised to 4, b squared, b cubed. Ang pinakamababa is b squared. For c, c raised to 5, c raised to 4, c raised to 3. Ang pinakamababang exponent is c raised to 3. So this will be our common monomial factor. Then, tignan natin ano yung matitira sa loob ng parenthesis. So, for 28, ang matitira doon is 2. Ito. So, 2 for A. So, 2 minus 1. We have A. For B, for minus 2. Yung exponent lang. Ima-minus lang natin yun. So, 4 minus 2, that is 2. So, B squared. Then, for C, 5 minus 3, that is 2. So, C squared. Okay? Then, for 42, kopyahin lang natin yung operation. So, minus... Uh, 42, ang natira lang doon is 3. Ito yon 3. So, 3 times, so A, so 3 minus 1, that is A squared. For B, so 2 minus 2, 0, so walang natira sa B. For or C, 4 minus 3, that is 1, so C. Uh, copy the operation, so plus. So, for 56, ano ang natira? That is 4, 2 times 2. Then A, walang natira sa A because 1 minus 1, for B, that is 3 minus 2, so 1. And then for C, 3 minus 3, 0, so walang natira sa C. Now, this will be our final answer. Ganun lang siya kadali. Okay, next, letter D. Ah, ito. 30x raised to m plus 1 minus 84x raised to n plus 1. So, kung mapapansin nyo, yung exponent natin is... May operation. Paano nangyari yun? Tandaan lang natin, law, law of exponent. Okay? So, kung paghihiwalay natin yan, ganito lang yan. Tignan niyo yung uh, sa x natin. Dito tayo. x raised to m times 
x raised to 1 or x lang. Sa loob exponent, if we have same base, pinagta-times natin, then ina-add lang natin yung exponent. Okay? So, it will become x raised to m plus 1. Ganun lang yan. Tanda lang natin, loop exponent. Kasi if we have same base, same naman yung base natin, x, then i-add lang natin yung exponent. The same with the other one. x raised to n times x raised to 1, we will be having x raised to n plus 1. So, ganun lang yun. Tanda lang natin yung loop exponent. Then, let us get the, uh, the greatest common factor of 30 and 84. So, 30 and 84. So, for 30, we have um, 3 times 10, then 2 times 5. For 84, uh, sa 84, ano ba ang unang papasok sa isip natin? For example, 6. So, we have uh, 6 times 14. Okay? Then, we have uh, 2 times 3, 2 times 7. So, ayan na. 30, we have, what are the prime factors of 30? 2 times 3 times 5. How about 84? We have 2 times 2 times 3 times 7. So, the greatest common factor will be 2, 2, 3, 3. So, the greatest common factor will be 6. Okay? So, yan na. Uh, <clears throat> so, greatest common factor is 6. How about dito sa variable natin? Ito yun, no? Ito yun. Ano ang pareho sa kanila? Okay, tama. X. Yun yung pareho sa kanila. So, parang pinaghiwalay lang natin sila, no? So, anong matitira? For 30, ang matitira is ito. 5. Then, for x raised to m plus 1, ano ang natira doon? Ito yung common natin. So, ang natira is x raised to m minus, how about for 84? Ang natira is 14. Then, x raised to n. Okay? So, as easy as that, ganun lang kadali yan. It will be our um, common monomial factors. Okay? So, yan. Uh, nakita nyo naman from easy to uh, average and difficult problem uh, problems no? so ito na test yourself let um, factor each expression number 1 34x raised to 4 a cube b squared c y raised to 4 minus 51 x raised to 5 a b cube y then for number 2 uh, 15x raised to n plus 1 minus 6x so comment down below your answer Para makita ko kung talagang natuto kayo dito sa video na to, no? Then, maybe next week, I will be posting in the comment section ang tamang sagot. That's all. Thank you. Have a nice day. Keep safe, everyone.